Love wine? We do. Visiting wineries near Charlotte, North Carolina can be fun during any season. This video explores four of the wineries located in Rhonda, North Carolina, near the intersection of Highway 421 and 77. Hi, I'm Mary, and with my sister Caroline, we are team members of ProSed Realty in Charlotte, North Carolina. Rhonda is a small town nestled in Wilkes County and the Yadkin Valley. The Yadkin Valley is North Carolina's first federally recognized America Vindiculture area. Here are a few other wineries around Rhonda, North Carolina area. Please bear with me with my Italian pronunciations. Raffaldini Vineyards. This vineyard produces Italian style dry and red Asapavanto wines. They are known for their classically dry Italian style wines ranging from reds like Sangiovese Classico, Mapocello Reserva, Sagratino and Gran Reserva, and with the whites being Vermatina Superiora and Di Santetina. There is a great rose called Girasole. Raffaldini hosts public and private events throughout the year and is the definite place for lovers of dry wines. Raffaldini is open every day except Tuesday. Reservations are required for tastings and vineyard tours. This winery brings in food trucks most weekends. There is a very limited snack menu, so you probably want to bring your own food if they aren't having the food trucks when you visit. Check their event calendar for more information. Raffaldini has a 6,000 square foot tasting room and event venue inspired by villas in Machua, Italy, home to the Raffaldini family in the north central region of Lombardy. Villa Raffaldini features traditional Italian art, architecture, and tasting rooms on both of the two levels. Enjoy panoramic views of the Blue Ridge and Brushy Mountains from inside the tasting rooms and outside on the balconies and landscape terraces. No pets are allowed, picnic on the lawn area and in the picnic area only. No one under 21 is allowed. Picciole Vineyards. This smaller winery is open every day except Tuesday from 12 to 6. The Picciole family comes from Marsala, Sicily, where the world famous sweet and dry wines originate. Founded in 2010, Picciole Vineyards has taken its Sicilian roots to Swan Creek, North Carolina. Picciole vin Vineyards grows and produces top quality reds like Sangiovese, Tramato and Nero and delicious whites such as Pinot Grosio and Vermatina. Dry rosés like Rosotto are offered and their Froissé is a slushy made with rosé wine, limeade and simple syrup. Great on a hot summer day. Picciole Vineyards offers music most weekends. Check the event page for more information. This winery offers flights and bottles and glasses. Snacks are available, but limited. There is a new tasting room opening in 2023. Children are always welcome. No outside food on weekends. Dogs are also welcome on a leash. Midnight Magdalena Winery open every day except Tuesday 11 to 5. This winery offers wine tasting, flights, bottles, and glasses. Located in over 50 acres, their focus is on dry wines and their current offers include a dry Riesling, Trimate, a Half Moon Rosé, Merlot, and a Coral Noir. No snacks are available. They are pet friendly, on a leash, allow children and outside food. Dobbins Creek Vineyards. This winery is open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Hours vary from 11 to 5. Dobbins Creek offers tastings, bottles, and glasses in their German-style tasting room. This winery is a small boutique vineyard that produces a limited amount of a thousand cases of estate-grown wine each year. Their wines include Riesling, Chardonnay, Merlot, Hemrick Mountain Red, Cabernet and a Red Cat Res. They do tastings, not flights, but they are also do wine by the glass. 
enjoy your glass or bottle on their front porch overlooking the vineyard and the mountains, or enjoy the tasting room with their fun and informative server. This vineyard is off the beaten path, but not too far from the others. The vinery is pet friendly and you can picnic. The Yadkin Valley has over 48 wineries. This area encompasses all of Wilkes, Surrey, and Yadkin counties, and parts of Davie, Davison, Forsyth, and Stokes counties. Check our YouTube page for more upcoming information on more wineries in this area. And if you are thinking of buying or selling in Charlotte, please give us a call. We would love to help.